Hello and welcome to another video. I am Nathan Wild and I am here to help inspire, educate, and motivate you on your fitness journey as I go through mine. So today what I wanna to talk to you about is something that is very, very important in a fitness journey and that is failure. And let me tell you now, if you've started, if you haven't started, or if you've achieved your fitness goals, you have experienced this and that is failure. Failure can be something that really helps you along your fitness journey, or it can be something that ends your fitness journey, rendering all of your hard work useless and just reverting back to who you were before. So today what I wanna to talk to you about is what to do after that failure. Everyone experiences it, you're going to fail, whether that be big or small. But the real, real key here is what you do after the failure. Every time I think about failure, I think back to a quote from Greg Plitt. He actually died a couple years back, but um, was a bit of an inspiration early, early on, about five years ago when I really started working towards my fitness goals, but just kept on failing. You know, one thing that he said was, winners and losers both have failed, but it's the winners that get back up and go after it again. The first step in being able to have a successful failure is to acknowledge that it was a failure. And that may not sound crazy or groundbreaking, but in your mind and in your, in your psyche, you need to identify what just happened as a failure. Because if it's not identified in your mind as a failure, it's just this amoeba, and that leads to recurrence. So what you have to do is take the hard step and acknowledge that what happened was a failure. The failure happened, you acknowledged it, now it's time to own it. This can be super, super difficult because there are factors outside of your control and actions of others that contribute into your failure. But it's about extreme ownership in this situation. You want to own everything and avoid the blame game. Because once the blame game starts, your ability to be able to stop the recurrence of this failure in the future and make plans that effectively eliminate this failure from your life get diminished. So own it, own all of it, it was your failure, and let's move on. Take stock of the failure. Am I okay? physically, mentally, and emotionally. What have I lost and what do I have left? Ask yourself these questions so you can better understand your capability, physically, mentally, and emotionally, for moving on and getting better from this failure. Root cause analysis, you've taken stock of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally, and you know where you're at. Next, we need to understand what happened to make this failure a failure. What possibly was something that contributed to the failure? What were the things that definitely contributed to the failure? So that we can just understand the full scope of what we're dealing with and what we're working with later on when we're crafting a solution to this failure to ensure that it doesn't happen in the future. So root cause analysis, root cause of your failure. Now, a lot of people would say the next step after understanding the cause of the problem, the root cause of the failure, would be to craft a solution. Now that's coming, but I would add one step in between that. And that step is to ask yourself if you really want this and how much you really want this. And so in this step, you're able to ask yourself truly, hey, is this something I really, really want? Or is this something that maybe I need to iterate on? And if the answer is yes, I really want this, those feelings of affirmation and determination just fuel your drive to be able to achieve this goal and make this failure not happen again. Or you can iterate and go after something else with just as much determination and stick to that you had for this goal that you're going after right now. 
final step, craft the solution. Make plans, make goals, use everything that you've learned from those steps up to this point and craft a solution so that this failure does not happen again. Thank you so much for watching my video today. As always, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. And if you liked what you saw today, please give me a like. Comment down below, what have you successfully failed at in your life? All right, thanks so much and I'll see you next time.